All right, guys, uh, we're going to be going into continuing the Versus series today with a shout out to Sarluna for helping me with the actual pronunciation of this. Um, we're going to have the Ada Sextons versus the Faidole Nitneri. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Alright guys, Agni here. Uh, today, like I said, we're going to try to go into comparing and contrasting between the Philadoli Nitniri and the Adisexon. I am not going to try to pronounce that again, so uh, we're just going to call it PN from here on out. But anyway, before we get into all that, got to get into the usual shenanigans. This video is sponsored by Aptoid. We're using my code Agni2023. You can get anywhere from 5 to 40% of all in-game purchases. All you have to do is look down in the description down below. There'll be a full uh, description how to do so, as well as a video. And follow the link that is on the screen now to be able to download your version for Android today to get anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in-game purchases using my code. All right, so we'll get into it. So, as always, uh, we are going to ignore skill 1, 3, 4, and 6. Because those are all pretty much universal between all ants, unless it is one of the masters in which it is like March speed. So we'll get right into it. Alright, so first one for Adder Sexton is a pre combat skill, effective range 1. In a squad skill, damage plus uh, 35%. And each time after releasing a combat skill, has a 60% chance to gain a shield that makes the squad immune to the next damage taken. So that, that's a lot like with like a banshee panda kind of thing um and it's a pre-combat skill so that means it is always has that chance to be able to uh proc um but for this particular skill um it only has the effective range of one so that means that itself or one squad squad around it can actually be um shielded which means that the most effective place for this would be to either be in the, um, well, to be in the middle of the squad, which would give it a greater chance to have something to be able to shield. Or, you know, in retrospect, you could also use it in, in the front and would basically always allow it to either shield itself or the second line. All right, and we'll get into the PN. Um, combat skill, three random enemy squads within effective range. Uh, during the battle, each time when its squad takes damage, increase the attack by 25%. Can be stacked up to 10 times. In the third round, according to the stack times, deals 600 to 700% damage to all enemy squads. Okay, so for this one, I mean, that is a lot of damage that it's increasing and in, in dealing out. Um, so for this one, uh, I think I would definitely give the edge to the PN. Um, even though in a defensive capability that 60% is a huge, um, huge plus, but as far as like just pure damage output, I'd have to say that, you know, of course the PN is better. Um, this skill I'm kind of on the fence about whether I, which one I think is really better, I guess. Uh, I'm going to say PN on this one, but, uh, let me, down, uh, let me know down in the comments down below if you guys agree or disagree or what you think. All right, and we'll get into the next skill. All right, combat skill, two random enemy squads within effective range. Effective range, three. It has a 60% chance to deal 190 plus special land level times 1%. Damage to two random enemy squads. Converts 25% of the damage dealt into its own squad power. I've never really understood outside of the uh, underground maze why they do this squad power um, adjustment. Um, it doesn't really have much use in PvP, so that one's kind of a eh for me. Um, so, but I mean, you get the, the, the base, which is 60%, 190 plus special land level times 1%, giving you uh, 1 or 240% to two random squads so that's all right i guess all right out of section 
uh, 70% chance to deal 400% damage, uh, plus special and level 1%, so 450%. Damage to a random enemy squad, increasing its own defense by 50% for two rounds can be stacked. Okay, so this one uh, definitely giving the advantage to the out of uh, just because it's purely more damage um, than skill 5 of the PN is outputting, um, plus increasing its own defense by 50% for two two rounds and can be stacked is pretty big for guardians um so definitely giving this win to the adasexon all right and we'll go into the next skill which is guardian and health and for this one it's also guardian and health so they are equal all right and then the last skill um, combat skill, it's squad. Um, effective when the troop is leading guardian ants, obviously. Uh, when there's only guardian ants in the three squads, after the battle starts, defense in its squad plus 100%. When taking damage, has 40% chance to reduce the damage by 50%. A low chance of proc, um, but a 50% deduction is pretty good. And we'll look at this one. Um, effective range 5. In the first three rounds, all of our squads convert 10% of their defense into attack and then deal high damage of 400% plus percent level to 1%, so 450%, to all enemy squads and all of our shooter and squads enter the splash status and the damage ratio is 100%. So... This one is interesting because it, it kind of, it's allowing it to be able to um, cater towards running a mixed march, which allows it for 400% plus a splash status of damage. The damage ratio is 100%. So splash damage of essentially 800 and, um, well, it'd be 900% total because of splash damage plus special ant level. So a potential of 900% damage can be done if you run this in a mixed march so that makes it interesting um as far as an actual all guardian run um the skill wouldn't have nearly as much effect because it's not having the splash damage so i would probably give it to um the ada for this one um because that, because of that to be able to um throw in the ability of that splash damage is pretty insane uh so yeah we'll overall so overall what's my thoughts uh overall i think the ada section is the better choice um just generally because it allows for the opportunity of running uh mix march as well as the ability um with some of this different skills it just has a, just a a greater damage output even though the pn does in its first skill have a pretty nasty little um, damage output it could do. But uh, I, I really think that for the PN, um, it's going to be more used as a support than it is going to be for a uh, combat support, whereas that is definitely more of a combat support and or a hitter. So that's my thoughts on it. Uh, Hope this video helped help uh, helped you guys out, and we'll see you in the next one. Hang it out. Hey, real quick, uh, something I forgot to add is the awakening on the PN. Um, so with this, uh, after PN releases the second skill, has an eight percent chance to reaccumulate the second times and trigger the same amount of damage that it firstly dealt again after two rounds. Uh, damage to the skill plus ten percent, and this damage uh, inflicts an exhaust effect, reducing enemy enemy damage by fifteen percent for one round. Um, this doesn't really change how I feel about it. Uh, yes, obviously it makes it uh, a lot more effective and usable, um, but overall. I still think that the Ada section is the better ant to get. But it had to be mentioned, and I forgot to do so in uh, the video. I just now noticed it in editing, so I had to throw in my opinion on that. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Out.